My name's Tate, I'm a physio from Physio Health. One of the most common complaints we see with uh, runners and athletes is ITB issues or tightness. And uh, I guess one of the most commonly prescribed exercises for that would be the foam roller. And we'll just get Corey to demonstrate how to do that. So what I like to say is to start them on their forearm, on something firm like the floor, not so much like the bed. And you get them to set up with heel on heel, and then nice straight knee. And, and generally speaking, if they're going to donate, say, 10 minutes a day to doing this exercise, I prefer them to use about 6 minutes of the time closer to the knee, because that's where the band fans in, to the point of the triangle, around the outside of the knee there. So we'll just start down there, Corey. And all we get to do is just nice little movements, like that. And obviously the more pressure that you can put through to the foam roller, the, uh, the greater the looseness will be. So I'll probably do about six minutes there, down that distal one third. And then the remainder of the time, up a bit higher. And again. And you just gotta think of the anatomy of the band, so where it starts from. And I also like to come around the front of the hip, which is one of the origins of the band through the TFL. All right, it's always a bit proper around the front there. Angle it all the way around, right onto the muscle. And a lot of people spend a bit of time doing the opposite, around the back to the glutes. It's not a bad one, but because of the broad nature of the roller, that's probably something obviously more useful would be such, a, such things as a cricket ball or a tennis ball or a golf ball, which are a bit harder and denser. And I think they get a greater release using some of those objects rather than the, the roller.